you are a creator, do you know that? And a creator is a focuser of energy. So the more deliberate you are about your focusing, then the more control you have over what you create. But when we talk about focusing, we're not only, we are this, but we are not only, we are this, but we are not only talking about you choosing things to focus on that you would like to draw into your experience. We do mean that, but not only that. When we speak of you focusing, what we really mean, what we mean mostly, 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 is you being so aware of how you feel that by paying attention to your emotions, your emotional guidance system, that you're able to focus yourself into your fullness before you focus. Does that make sense? In other words, it's sort of like plugging the vacuum cleaner in before you run it around the house. You could run it around the house, but if it's not plugged in, it's not really doing what you wanted it to do. And if you're running around the ship and you're not plugged into who you really are, then you're having a much more shallow experience, much less focused experience, an experience not what you intended when you decided to come into this physical body. You are source energy. And before you came into this body, you were source energy. And even though you're in this body, you still are source energy. But as humans, so often you get so fixated on the trappings of your physical world and that's just fine. We love it too. But when you forget who you really are and you don't work to find that resonance with who you really are and you become merely an observer of what's going on on your planet where some things you look at please you and some things you look at don't please you but you by your looking, by your thinking that you are supposed to just look everywhere and then work it out after that, rather than deciding how you want to feel and therefore that's where you look. You hear the difference? That's what we call getting out ahead of things, tuning into the wholeness of who you are and then exploring your physical environment. So during these days that we are together, we know that this will be an especially good opportunity for you to tune into who you really are. Not only because it's natural to you and not only because you are surrounding yourself with other lovelies who make it easy and not only because we will spend a significant amount of time together in this theater and we will speak core vibrational things to you. In other words, what you hear from this platform will be 100% connecting you to who you are. That's the nature of what happens here. Even as you come with questions or issues or even problems that you want to discuss, still the vibrational frequency of this arena is dominantly your inner beings who have come here with you. And of course us. We are all here. In other words, this is our way of saying to you that the whole of you, the source of you, the real of you, the God of you, the good of you, the joyful of you is dominant in this room. It's who you are, which will make it easier for you to hear and understand and know and decide you will be that too. Well, when you are in tune with who you are, then nothing that is unwanted is in the vibration. And when nothing that is not wanted, in other words, as long as it's not active within your vibration, then it cannot perpetuate in your experience. And so when you tune to who you are, you'll hear us talk about this over the days that we are together a little bit. We're going to talk about getting out ahead of things because it's one thing to be physically focused and to look around and observe and to decide and conclude. It's a lot about what human life is about. And it is in large part what you knew you would do when you got here into this physical body, but you didn't intend to look so hard at what is and mostly only look at what is because you knew that if your attention is only upon what is, what is can't evolve. 
can't be more than what is and what is has always been meant for you to be the bouncing off place for something more so when you observe what is and you would like it to be a little different or a lot different you launch a vibrational request that is powerful and productive and effective and is actually a cause that causes an effect but you if you're like most humans don't usually turn your attention to the solution that you've asked for instead you justify why you want that solution as you were yelling out to us rather than relaxing in the knowing that the solution is underway and momentum for that solution is a sure thing when you ask it is given the question is are you going to be in the vibrational vicinity where what has been given to you about you on your behalf for you are you in a position where you can be the receiver of what you've asked for that has been given or are you still in the frequency of asking rather than in the frequency of receiving can you feel the difference so we want to talk about being in the receiving mode we want to talk about being so much in the receiving mode that you come to the place by the time we are finished together in these days that we will play that you are knowing your own invincibility now we want to say to you that we want you to know that you can create anything that you desire we want you to know that nothing is off limits that universal forces the energy that creates worlds is flowing at your command but you often do not line up with your own command you ask for it but you hold yourself differently than what you have asked for so as we play together it is our knowing that you will find yourself having lots of aha moments as we talk with different ones of you sitting here in the hot seat about the specifics of what you are living in your life experience it is not a difficult thing conceptually to get it that you create your own reality it's not hard to understand that you are an extension of source energy and it isn't difficult to come to know in a relatively short amount of sentences or stories or examples that as you tune yourself and allow the frequency of who you are to rise to the vibrational equivalent of the non-physical you that then there is a blending of you and you and you witness that kind of blending in yourselves and in others all the time you see it often in the athletes who are in the zone you see it in the accomplished musicians or painters you see it in yourself in flashes here and there what we want you to come to know in the time that we are together in this leading edge environment taking thought to places it has not been before among those like you who are human in case you have forgotten a little bit the thing that we most want you to come away from this gathering knowing is that this blending does not have to be so temporary or so fleeting it can be something that you can dominantly not completely but it can be something that you can dominantly focus yourself into and what that means is you'll mostly love while there will be things that will bother you from time to time you'll mostly be sure of yourself while insecurity may creep up just a little bit you'll mostly be focused on where you're going while sometimes you'll be telling a reminiscent story about where you've been or even where you are you're going to find some shifting of your focus as a result of our playing here together this week we're just letting you know right now you cannot focus in an environment with the intensity of the inner beings that you have gathered here and with the intensity of focus that is us without your vibrational vantage point shifting permanently <laughs> so 
so what that really means to you in a very tactile sense is that you're going to feel your emotions in a stronger way than you have before you're not going to be able to be focused out of sync with what you've become without really feeling it you're giving your guidance system extra emphasis so that you're going to feel your emotions more you will love more and the thing that isn't loved so much will hurt you harder your clarity will make you swoon with thrills and your confusion will irritate you more than it ever has <laughs> when you begin tuning into the wholeness of who you are nothing less than that will do because there is no regression now what we want you to know is that you have been evolving much more than you know and you have created a vibrational reality that is calling you forward this vibrational reality will not regress either in other words when you know what you don't want you know what you do want and you take giant steps forward vibrationally because you've had that experience but we mean something different to you tonight as we are talking about this we're not just talking about this vortex your vortex is your vibrational reality it's such a real thing we wrote two books about it because we want so much for you to know that this vibrational reality exists but we're not just talking about the existence of this vibrational reality when we say to you there is no regression we're talking about you consciously joining with what's in that vibrational reality and on a conscious level understanding and feeling and knowing things that you haven't understood or felt or known before and what we're saying to you is you can never step back from that knowing without really knowing that you've stepped back from that knowing oh it's so good when you become a conscious deliberate creator it's so good when you come into full awareness of the subtleties and not so subtleties of your own emotional guidance system it's such a wonderful thing when you join on a steady and deliberate basis with your inner being so that the whole of you is focused and present in a conversation with a new friend or an old friend it's such a delicious thing when you are contemplating what's coming next and you're able to tap into that vortexual version and actually catch a glimpse of who you really are and where you're really going and not need the manifestation and other people pointing at the manifestation in order for you to believe it it's such a wonderful thing when you come to believe because you want it not because you have proof yet about it it's such a wonderful thing as you stand in that gap having launched a rocket and having faith or trust or maybe even hope that something is coming about and then that hope morphs into absolute knowing and even though it hasn't manifested yet even though your neighbors aren't watching you drive it or park it in your garage yet even though the person that you're looking for hasn't shown up in your life yet so that you can take them and show them off to your girlfriends even though the things that you want to manifest haven't manifested in a way that others are acknowledging the existence of it you no longer need that kind of existence of it in order to feel the fullness and the realness of it and when that happens to you oh we're not just promising you certain manifestations that will come blah 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 it can't not come when you reach that place of understanding but what we're talking about is you standing finally once and for all in this place of absolute freedom from resistance even when everything that you want hasn't come about yet and that's such an important thing to understand because you're not ever going to be in a place where everything you want has come about you're eternal if you are eternal that cannot be you can't ever get it done and what we're saying to you is maybe for the first time in your life you're going to be all right with that knowledge not just all right with knowing that you can't get it all done but knowing that you don't want it all now you don't want to get it all done because you want the next and the next and the next idea to thrill you as you get to witness yourself moving closer and closer along